Let's take a look at how to add and subtract money up to 10,000. Jack has $4,420.77. Savannah has $3,454.53. How much money do they have in all? Okay, well in all is a hint that we're adding these two numbers together. So I'm gonna set this up as an addition problem. Now, when I set it up as an addition problem, $4,420.77, I'm going to make sure that I line up the decimal points so that I have the place value or the dollar values lined up. Okay, so here, right, this was 53 cents. You can even go backwards when you write it to make sure that you're lining it up, right? This is in the ones place the tens place, the hundreds place, and the thousands place. Now the reason that that's really important is because remember, this is the hundreds place, so this is cents. This is the tens place, so each of these represent 10 cents. $1, $10, $100, and $1,000. So we wanna make sure that we're lining up all of those places. Okay, so let's add these two numbers together. And of course they are money. I'm gonna put the dollar sign on my answer at the end. You can put it here as well. Okay, so starting in my hundredths place, seven plus three is 10, so I'm gonna write zero and bring the one over, right? Because that became 10 cents. So it's gonna to move to the tenths place. Okay, seven plus five is 12, plus the extra one is 13. So that means there's three, and I'm gonna bring that one, right? 13 meant that that one became a whole dollar. So that's gonna move over into the ones place. Okay, zero plus four is four, plus the extra one we brought over is five. In the tens place, two plus five is seven. In the hundreds place, four plus four is eight. And in the thousands place, four plus three is seven. Okay, and notice I put the decimal in my answer the same place it was in these two, right? I had to line up those decimals. So I would say they have together $7,875.30. Sarah has $8,798.39. Grace has $881.92. How much money do they have in all? Well, just like in the last problem, in all is a keyword that we're adding those two dollar amounts together. Okay, now be careful. The first one was $8,798.39. cents. The other one is 881. So I like to write the numbers from the back to the front and here's why. You're not gonna line this eight up here because this was thousands. This one doesn't have any thousands, right? 800. So you could start here or you could kind of just work backwards and say, okay, well the cents was 92 and just make sure all of your numbers are lined up. In the ones place we had a one, in the tens place we had an eight and in the hundreds place we had an eight. As long as you're lining up the digits in the right place, right? Cents with, um, cents with cents, 10 cents with 10 cents, dollars with dollars, the place value needs to be lined up to make sure we are adding correctly. And notice I'm putting my decimal in the same line as the decimals were here. Okay, well, in the hundredths place, nine plus two gives me 11. So that would be one, and we're gonna bring the one over. 9 plus 3 is 12, plus the extra 1 makes it 13. So I'm going to write the 3, carry the 1. My decimal's already here. In the 1's place, 8 plus 1 is 9, plus that extra 1 makes it 10. So I'm going to write the 0, carry the 1. 9 plus 8 was 17, plus the extra 1 makes it 18. So I'm going to write the 8, carry the 1. Okay, seven plus eight is 15, plus the extra one is 16. So six, carry the one, and eight plus that extra one is nine. 
okay? And of course, this was in dollars, so I'm gonna make sure I have my dollar sign. So altogether, the two girls have $9,680.31. Emily has $9,478.79. Sophia has $257.63. How much money do they have in all? Okay, well again, when I'm adding these up, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm lining up my place value. So $9,478.79. Okay, and again, you could go backwards or you can say, okay, two is in the hundreds place. So make sure you start in the hundreds place. That works too. But we're making sure that we're lining up the same place value. So $257.63. And again, the place value is so important because these represent one cent. In the tenths place, it represents 10 cents. These represent $1, $10, $100. So you have to make sure everything is lined up to get the correct answer. And we're gonna put our decimal lined up with the decimal points there. And then we're just gonna simply add in each place. So in the hundredths place, or in our cents place, nine plus three is 12. So I'm gonna put my two, carry the one. In the tenths place, seven plus six is 13, plus the extra one makes it 14. So we're gonna write our four, carry the one. My decimal's already here. Eight plus seven would be 15, plus the extra one makes it 16. So six, carry the one. Notice I'm taking my time, right? Going slowly and carefully here so we don't make silly mistakes. Seven plus five gives us 12, plus the extra one makes it 13. So we're gonna write the three, carry the one. Four plus two is eight. I'm sorry, see, speaking of silly mistakes, four plus two is six, plus the one is seven. And then we're gonna bring down the nine. Okay, so this means altogether 9,000 $736.42. Kaylee has $7,989.25. Jack has $1,781.40. How much money do they have in all? Okay, well in all is our hint that we're adding those two things together and we need to make sure that we're lining up our place value. So $7,989.25. Okay, and this also starts in the thousands place, right? This started with 7,000, this starts with 1,000, so I can line this up, but always checking that place value, hundreds place, tens place, ones place, and then our cents. Okay, and I'm gonna line this up to, ans to my answer, making sure the decimal point is lined up, and then I'm adding in each place value. So all the way here in the hundredths place, or my one cents place, five plus zero is five. In my tenths place, two plus four is six. In my ones place, nine plus one gives me 10. So I'm gonna write my zero and carry the one over. Eight plus eight, 16 plus the extra one makes it 17. So we're gonna write the seven, carry the one. And you can add these in any order. So like you can say nine plus seven plus one, or it might be easier if you say nine and one is 10 plus the seven is 17. Okay, since that was 17, we're writing the seven and carrying the one. Seven and one is eight plus the extra one makes it nine. Okay, so all together, Kaylee and Jack have $9,770.65.
Okay, Matilda has $1,129.36. Sophia has $154.13. And since they're asking how much money do they have in all, we know in all is telling us to add those two things together. Now again, be careful. Notice this one started in the thousands place and this number starts in the hundreds place. So I'm gonna make sure I'm lining this up. $154.13. Notice that thousands place is blank, right? The place values all have to be lined up. Now I'm going to put my decimal point directly under the decimal point here, and then I'm just going to add in each place. Okay, so starting with my hundredths place or my cents place, six cents plus three cents gives us nine cents. In my tenths place or ten cents place, three plus one, that would become four, right? Forty cents. And then we're moving into the one dollars place or ones place. The nine plus four gives us 13. So we're gonna write the three, carry the one. Two plus five is seven, plus the extra one makes it eight. One plus one gives us two. And we only had the one in the thousands place. So together, the two of them had $1,283.49. Zachary has $8,573.13. Gabriel has $192.94. How much do they have in all? Okay, in all is telling us to add the two together. So $8,573.13. We're gonna add that and again, I'm really paying attention to place value. Notice this had something in the thousands place. This number starts in the hundreds place. So I'm gonna skip that thousands place, $192, right? Lining everything up in the right place value and 94 cents. And then I'm gonna add those numbers together. I'm gonna to put my decimal directly under the decimal point. So starting in the hundredths place, three cents plus four cents gives me seven cents. Going to the tenths place, one plus nine is 10. So I'm going to write zero and carry the one. Three plus two is five plus the extra one is six. Nine plus seven gives us 16. So six carry the one. Five and one is six plus the extra one makes it seven. And I just have that eight in the thousands place. Okay, so all together, $8,766.07. Sydney has $3,927.16. Kaden has $1,261.77. Okay, so to find out how much they have in all, I'm going to add my numbers together. 3,927 and 16 cents. This one was $1,261, right? Lining up all those place values and 77 cents. We're going to keep our decimal directly underneath the decimal and then starting in the hundredths place. Okay, six plus seven is 13. So we're gonna write the three, carry the one. Seven and one is eight, plus the extra one makes it nine. So guys, I, I could keep going with this, but I just wanna take a second and show you a test strategy here. Notice I have four answer choices. Once I know that there's 93 cents, yes, I can keep going to find the full answer, but notice I only have one answer choice that has 93 cents. So I already know without doing the whole rest of the problem that this would have to be the right answer. Now, of course, if I wanted to double check, I could say seven and one is eight, two and six is eight, 
Nine plus two is 11, so one carry the one. Three and one is four, plus the one is five. So just like I suspected, we have 5,188 and 93 cents. Notice that matches with what we had for the cents already. Isabel had $7,726.87 until she spent $7,516.44. How much money does Isabel have now? Okay, well, if she started out with this much money and then she spent this much, spent is telling us that she used that money, so we have to subtract it out of her total. All right, so let's subtract. She started out with $7,726.87. Okay, and of that money, she spent $7,516.44. And notice I'm lining up all my place values. And this time we're gonna subtract to see what she has left. Just like with adding, I'm gonna make sure my decimal points are lined up, but the, the only difference is we're subtracting the numbers. So seven minus four leaves us with three. In the tenths place, eight minus four is four. In the ones place, six minus six is zero. In the tens place, two minus one is one. In the hundreds place, seven minus five is two. And seven minus seven is zero, but we wouldn't, since it's money, we're not gonna say 0,210. We would just write that as $210.43.